Financial statements play a crucial role in understanding a business's financial health. But have you ever wondered how these statements are created? Join me as we delve into the world of accounting and learn how to make financial statements step by step. Ready to dive in? Unlock the secret to financial success with Counting Coins, where numbers come alive and your accounting game thrives. First, let's define financial statements. Financial statements are accounting reports that provide a summary of a business's activities over a specific period. There are three main types, the income statement, the balance sheet, and the cash flow statement. In this video, we'll concentrate on creating an income statement. The income statement is a financial report that summarizes a business's revenues and expenses over a period of time. It's pretty simple. You take a business's revenue and subtract its expenses. The result is either a profit or a loss. That's why it's often referred to as the profit and loss statement or the P&L. For this video, we'll call it the basic income statement. While the basic income statement is straightforward, it doesn't provide us with detailed information. To get a clearer picture, we need to expand it into a detailed income statement. At the top, we have operating revenue which represents the income earned from conducting business. We subtract direct operating costs, such as the cost of sales, to calculate the gross profit or loss. Next, we deduct indirect operating costs or overheads to determine the operating profit or loss. Finally, we subtract indirect non-operating costs like interest expenses and taxes, leading us to the bottom line, the business's net profit or loss. If you've liked the video so far, please give it a like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments what would you like us to cover next. Now back to the video. Now let's talk about how to create a basic income statement. The first thing you'll need is a trial balance. It's an accounting report that shows the closing balances in all ledger accounts at a specific point in time. Here's an adjusted trial balance for a dating app called SoulSwipe, prepared on December 31st which happens to be the end of SoulSwipe's financial year. This trial balance includes a complete list of SoulSwipe's accounts and their closing balances. Debit balances are listed on the left column, while credit balances are on the right. To make an income statement, we draw a line above the balance sheet accounts in the trial balance. We're primarily interested in what's below the line, SoulSwipe's revenue and expenses, which are income statement accounts. The basic income statement for SoulSwipe is the revenue minus the expenses. In this case, SoulSwipe earned $60 million in revenue and incurred $50,350,000 in expenses, resulting in a profit of $9,650,000. The method of creating a detailed income statement is similar. We'll again refer to SoulSwipe's adjusted trial balance. The key is to categorize their expenses. The cost of sales represents a direct operating cost, general, administrative, selling, marketing, depreciation, and amortization expenses are classified as indirect operating costs. Finally, interest and tax expenses fall under indirect non-operating costs. It's important to note that if depreciation and amortization expenses are not related to operational assets, they would be considered indirect non-operating costs. However, for this video, we assume they are used in operations. Now, we take these categorized expenses from the adjusted trial balance and place them in the corresponding sections of the income statement. This gives us a revenue of $60 million, just like before. We subtract the cost of sales, which amounts to $17.5 million, to calculate a gross profit of $42.5 million. Then, we deduct the indirect operating costs to reach an operating profit of $10,450,000. Finally, we subtract the indirect non-operating costs, interest, and tax to determine SoulSwipe's net profit, which is $9,650,000. So now we've covered the essentials of creating an income statement. We explore the basic income statement and the detailed income statement learning how to categorize expenses and calculate various profit figures. Remember, financial statements provide valuable insights into a business's performance. Don't forget to comment below with your thoughts, 
questions, and accounting victories. And make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. So I'll see you in the next episode of Counting Coins. Happy accounting!